It is good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And it's really good to be worshiping here at the Antioch this church. I must say that the service this morning has been a source of inspiration. And, it's so, and I speak for all of the National Bank family, Pastor Lincoln, when I say that this service has been a source of upliftment to us. And, I, and so I thank the entire congregation of the Antioch Baptist Church. I want to thank the church for so willingly and graciously agreeing to host us here this morning. National Bank on Saturday, 15th February, will be celebrating 49 years of service to the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And indeed, we would be celebrating 49 years of service to even the wider Caribbean. And so we are very pleased about that. We have come to give God thanks for his grace and his mercies and for the bountiful favors that he has bestowed upon us over these 49 years. National Bank started out many years ago with capital of $50,000. Today, National Bank has an asset base of $3.6 billion. And we are very proud of that indeed. From our humble beginnings in 1971, National Bank has grown to become the largest bank in the entire Eastern Caribbean. And we are very proud of that as well. And I am not sure I should be saying this so that Pastor Lincoln can hear. But in 2019, the last year we reported, National Bank reported profits of over $52 million. But folks, I want to say something this morning in full of, and that is that National Bank is not only about numbers. National Bank is about looking after the lives of real people. And what we are about is helping real people to achieve their goals and their dreams and their aspirations. And that is what we are most proud of. And as we give God thanks for National Bank and what it has been able to do for all people, we can never do that without thanking all of the men and women who have worked so tirelessly and who have worked so willingly to help us to achieve these goals. And so I want to recognize, first of all, our chairman of the board, Mr. Alexis Nisbet, and I thank him for his tremendous support and his steadfast commitment to the management of National Bank. I want to also thank the senior executives of the bank, the management and the rest of the staff, National Bank, for your committed, dedicated, and loyal service to National Bank. National Bank has some of the best employees, the most dedicated employees you would find anywhere in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And so we thank them for that. Um, we also thank and could, must always remember the past employees of National Bank because they have blazed the trail for us and they have built that solid foundation so that we can continue on that impressive growth part. And so we thank our past employees. We thank, of course, our shareholders. We thank our customers. And we thank the entire Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. We thank them for their continued confidence that they have reposed in the National Bank. Finally, I would like to pray that God will continue to bless the National Bank so that we can continue to be a blessing to others. I want to 
pray that God will bless the Antioch Baptist Church as well, the pastor and the entire congregation. I want to pray that God will continue to bless Central Bank, Governor of the Central Bank, because the Central Bank is our supervisor, our monitor. The Central Bank keeps us on that straight and narrow path. I thank you for that, sir. And finally, I would like to thank the nation of Grenada. And I say this without fear of any contradiction. Some of my best friends and some of the best people you'll find are from the nation of Grenada. Congratulations on your 46th anniversary. And so with, that, with those few words, I would just like to thank you all for a wonderful morning of service. I must not leave here without making a contribution to the work of the church. And so I'm going to call on the chairman of the board, Mr. Alexis Nisbet, and I, I'll call on Pastor Lincoln. I am not laughing, you know.